Hello there. In today's tutorial, I am going to be teaching you how to apply Adobe After Effects on your Android apps using Lottie. So this is a default Android app. I haven't done anything special here. I just created a new Android application and as you can see, you find what you normally find as default when you create a new application. So what is Lottie? You know, After Effects can be used to make beautiful animations. But sometimes, if you want to replicate those animations in your Android app, it's going to be complex. Not everyone is a designer that will have to code complex animations on Android. So here you have Loity, very beautiful library that you can use to render beautiful animations effortlessly on Android, iOS, and the web. So here they have different animations that you download in JSON files and you can use it to render your animation on your app. So if we go over here, you have Android iOS React Native and you can use the data in the JSON to render your animation. So for example, let's come over here and you can download any of these animations. Let's click this bike. I can download it as a JSON file and I can render it on my app. So let's download this. So I have downloaded it and next is to go and check what is required. So I go to the GitHub page of Loyalty for Android. And if you check the requirements, they mention that from Lottie 2.8 and above, you have to use Android X. So once you go to Android X to check out what it is, you find out that it's the new project Android team uses to develop. It was released with Jetpack. So you have two options. You create a new project with Android X or you migrate an old project into Android X. I prefer migrating an old project to Android X. So in case you have a, an old project already or you created a project and you want to migrate it to Android X, what you do following the instruction is that you head over to your project. I prefer this method because you can easily create a project and migrate to Android X because if you do not use this method, that means your project has to start with Android 9.0 or API 28. So most of you will have an API less than that. So you could create a normal project, head over to refactor and migrate to Android X. And I can, I don't need to back up. I just say migrate. Refactor. It's doing its thing. So I was able to open the documentation. Now, if you intend to use Loite in your project, you put this dependency. For now, at the time of this video, the Lottie version is 3.0.0 beta 2. Now, after doing that, we'll be able to render our Lottie files. Now, firstly, you have an option to put your Lottie files in either raw or assets. So depending on where you put it, that will determine how you access it in your XML. Because when you put the tag, you need to specify where the JSON file is, either in the raw or asset. So let's head over to our application, our resource. So here we create new, resource directory 
So let's make it raw. Raw. So now we have a raw directory here. So I am in my project. I go to app. I go to source main res. I go to raw and I paste the Lottie file. So this is the name of the Lottie file. So I can shorten it to scooter. So I don't have to write those long names. So this is it. So to find where I showed you now, you go to the application, the folder of the application you created to app, source, main, res, and raw. Raw will be there if you have created it over here. And as you can see, scooter.json is available. As, as you can see, it's a JSON file, but we'll use it to render some beautiful animations very soon. So we we'll come over here, copy this. And we paste it. So we'll put, we'll place this with 3.0.0 beta 2 and we sync. So using our XML, you can get it using XML or programmatically. For this example, I'll use our simple XML because for most of the situations, that should satisfy you. So we we'll come over here, scooter. So let's give this a uh, match parent, match parent and and give it all the size so now this has an id of animation view autoplay means once the application starts it should begin playing the animation loop means it should keep on playing the animation for example each animation has a sequence this keeps on looping so the animation keeps on playing and playing and playing the animation is not infinite i can say play the animation twice so it plays it twice and stops but if i say loop it keeps on playing and playing and playing so for this situation i'm going to say loop is equal to true so we can go ahead and run our application hey so you can see now we have our animation showing and exactly what you saw over here you can now see on the phone so you can use this to render any animation you could really have any animation you wish and you can apply it like any widget on android you have so many different animations which you can use to your taste as you can see, I just put this in a constraint layout. I said match parent width and height, so it covered everywhere. Sometimes you want some good animations for a loader, or you want animation for downloading, or for sending a mail, or if you can't find what you're looking for, you search because there are so many animations available. So that is loyalty animation for you. If you do iOS development, you can also use it there or React Native, you can use it there. I can use any of this and replace this bike with it. Moreover, if I had two animations saved in my raw, I could easily come here, change the animation to point to the different JSON file and it will change the animation. Now we use XML, you can also change it programmatically also. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe and if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up.